So as you may know if you know me, that Christmas is my favorite holiday. And so today I'm going to be doing the Joy of Christmas book tag. And here comes my dog. I have loved Christmas since I was a little kid. I have loved Christmas since I was a little kid. And eventually I'm going to do every Christmas book tag there is because I absolutely love Christmas. I love anything to do with Christmas. I love the way the atmosphere just feels around Christmas. I feel like I walk into a store and while there are some people a little stressed out, most people are very like relaxed and happy and going through the Christmas aisles. It just makes me so relaxed and happy and I just want to like share that with everybody. So let's dive in. Question one is anticipation. The Christmas excitement is real. What book releases are you most anticipating? I'm gonna be honest, I don't really look into releases that much. I honestly don't know why. I think it's because I like to read a series all at once and so like if it's still releasing pieces of it then um I don't read it so I don't really look at the next release date because I'm not gonna read it until it's all out or mostly all out. So the only time I really look into releases is when um, a favorite author will be posting about their book that's coming out. Number two, Christmas songs and carols. What book or author can you not help but sing its praises? This would be Maggie Stiefvater every time. I have loved every single book of hers that I've picked up. I only have like three left to read of hers and I honestly just cannot get enough of her writing. I absolutely adore it. I tell everybody to pick it up. One of my friends in high school, we would read um, the Wolves of Mercy Falls trilogy together and my book went to like 14 different people I think in the school because we all wanted to read the series and as far as I know I think they all loved it. And I still am just like, you guys, you have to read this author. You have to read her. You have to read her books. Sadly, not as many people take that recommendation now. When I say that, most of them are like, oh, well, no. And I'm like, well, why? And they're like, well, I just don't want to. And I'm like, well, you're missing out. Number three, Gingerbread Houses. What book or series has wonderful world building? For this one, I am going with Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I absolutely loved this book. I felt like I was very into the scenes when they were at the school. I felt like I was right there. It was very realistic. Like, yeah, even though there's vampires and wizards and all these other fun stuff, it felt very real. It felt like I was at this place. And so I absolutely love the world building in this one. I feel like that was supposed to be a continuing sentence, but I kind of did not continue it. I do that a lot, I think. Number four. A Christmas Carol. Favorite classic or one that you want to read? I actually don't have my favorite classic here with me. It is at my apartment back where I go to school. But it is Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. I absolutely adore Black Beauty and I think it needs to be read more. It's kind of pushed to the back burner for classics and I really think it should not be because it is absolutely wonderful. It really needs more exposure. Number five, Christmas Sweets. What book would you love to receive for Christmas? I would like to receive any book for Christmas. Number six, Candles in the Window. What book gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling? So for this one, I am going with How to Train Your Dragon by Christina Cowell. I absolutely adore this book. It is so adorable and funny and just so heartwarming to me and I am going through the series, flying through the series and I absolutely love it. I wish there was more than the 12 there are because I am getting there and I don't want it to end just yet. Number seven. Wow, we are flying through this. Christmas trees and decorations. What are some of your favorite book covers? So I don't actually have some of my favorite here because they're still at my apartment. <laughs> should have done this there. I've noticed when I go through stores I like very almost like simplistic but elegant designs and so I pulled grabbed a couple of those off of my shelf. Um, Made You Up by Francesca Zappia. It's very simple but it is so gorgeous and I absolutely love it and it is so blue and I love blue um, but this is one and then another one would be Socking Jack the Ripper it is also very simple. It has like the text and just the person behind and it is gorgeous. I love this color. This color. Yes, I love the color too. I love this cover, the second one as well. It is just very beautiful to me. And last but not least, 
Christmas joy. What are some of your favorite things about Christmas and or some of your favorite Christmas memories? My favorite thing about Christmas is we go to my grandmother's house and there's usually a bunch of family there and it is just one like big party. It is so fun to be around them. It's a ton of laughs. By the time you're leaving your face and your stomach hurts because you're laughing so hard. Christmas just isn't Christmas if we don't go to my grandmother's house. If we stay here, it honestly does not feel like Christmas and I hate it. Well, uh, not really like hate it, hate it, but like it's not right and I don't like it. And so while I still enjoy Christmas, I'm kind of like meh because we're not down there enjoying it with family. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!